b is equal to log of 17 over log of 3. Calculator time. What I did was I chose the log button here. I finished the parentheses after writing 17 and I put a divide, log base, excuse me, log base 10, 3, and then of course enter. Uh, and I was pretty close with my guess, right? My guess was 2.5. Uh, the actual calculator value is 2.578, closer to 2.6, if you will. Yes, sir. My calculator rounds the same way that I choose. Yes. Come see me right after class. It's actually, if you want to do a quick check on the mode right here where it says mode, uh, put it back on float. You might have the scientific it turns on too, so just make sure your mode is all to the left. All right, so um, one thing that's important here to understand let's take a look at 3 raised to the 2.5, 3 raised to the 2.6. 3 raised to 2.57, and finally 3 raised to 2.578901923. Okay. Alright, so I want to show you this one time just to give you an idea of what's going on here. Um, okay, 3 raised to the 2.5 is not equal to 17, although we're saying that it does, right? Actually, no, we're not. We were saying that 2.5789, so it's actually a little bit closer to 2.6. Let's see what happens here. 3 raised to the 2.6 is, well, that's too far past 17, isn't it? This should be giving you a clue about the significant digits here. Let's go ahead and try it at 2.57, because that was a little closer to the original. This is the actual, right here, 2.5789. So let's put 3 raised to 2.57. All right, we're getting a little bit closer, but we're still pretty far away. Um, now we'll do this, 3 raised to 2.578910. And we get 17. Okay. So, what I'm trying to illustrate here, when you're multiplying, we oftentimes round to two digits. And it's acceptable and it's good. It's pretty accurate, actually, because multiplication doesn't have all that much error associated with it. But remember here, this is an exponent. And if you think of the graph of the exponential equation, Remember, it looked something like this. It started out along 0, 1 through 0, 1, and then it skyrocketed up, didn't it? Remember that? And that's where we got the idea of saying something grows exponentially. But when you round something, you actually create an approximation or an error versus the actual. There's a difference between the actual answer and your approximation. They call that difference the error. So when I round it here, the difference between this number and this number is that really not that big. But since it's an exponential, the error also grows exponentially instead of as a standard multiplication. So any digit that you cut off here makes a significant difference when you're using exponents. So we need to, as a class, all agree that we're going to round to four digits. Four digits is still not that accurate, as you'll see. Five, seven, eight, nine would be the round for this one. So let's raise three to the... Five, seven, eight, nine. That is the uh, that is the four-digit round. And when you see we, well, three, eight, nine, zero, one, nine, two, three. Three raised to two point five seven. Ahead of myself and sixteen point nine 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 nine. I'll accept that it's close enough to seventeen. So with four digits, we can get relatively close. We still aren't perfect because, again, the error between this number rounded off here and the remaining numbers, even at the four digit place, is still significant. Okay, so what I'm getting at is as a class, we need to agree four decimal places on tests, on homework, on anything, so that uh, our numbers will always match. 
Because if you go five decimal places or three decimal places, it's liable that the number that say it's using a multiple choice test, that your number won't be there. You see what I mean? So if we all agree now, four decimal places, then we should all be on the same page for every problem. So I'm gonna say that over and over again. Four decimal places rounding, round to four decimal places. I guess before I go any further, though, I do want to show you this. We said 3 to the B equals 17, and then we used the log base 10. Uh, there's no reason why I couldn't have used log base any base that I want to. The other base on the calculator is log base E, also known as the LN. LN of 3 to the B is equal to the LN of 17, um, which means B times the LN of 3 is equal to the LN of 17, and I can divide away the LN of 3 and I get B is equal to this time the LN of 17 over the LN of 3. If we look at the calculator, I used last time, well I don't have it up there anymore, but it was the log of 17 over the log of 3. Now I'm going to use the LN button, LN 17 divide LN 3, and there should be no change in the answer, and there's not. I like to use LN uh, because there's only two letters to write instead of three. See, and I'm lazy. So I can just write LN instead of LOG. It saves me a little bit of ink. There is really no reason why you should use one or the other. I have both bases on the calculator. Whichever one you feel more comfortable with is fine to me. Make sure you understand that you cannot mix and match. If you take the LN of this side, you can't then go take the log of that side. Right? LN goes with LN, log goes with log. You can't throw them around. But it's your choice to use whichever you like. Since LN has only two number letters, I usually choose. Try a couple more of these types and see if we can just quick get a quick hang of that. On that worksheet, there are plenty to try. Um, how about, I don't know, how about number four, I guess? I'll tell you after class. 16 raised to the V is equal to 67. We cannot write 67 as 16 to any raised to any power. If we could, we'd be done here, right? Uh, 16 to the first power is 16. 16 to the second power is 256. And 67 falls somewhere between that. So our answer is going to be one point something. And we can sit here and play with how far away 67 is from 16 and 256 to get a better idea of what that point something is. Or we can just go ahead and do the problem. Let's just go ahead and do the problem, right? So we'll take the LN of both sides. Again, uh, no choice here. I mean, no reason to choose LN or log. I just like LN better. It's personal. Okay. The LN of 67. So V times the LN of 16 is equal to the LN of 67. what we thought it might be, right? Because we know 16 to the first power is 16, and 16 squared is 256. So if we're going to, V has got to be somewhere between 1 and 2, right? 1 is 16, 2 is 256. This lands somewhere in the middle. So it makes sense that this lands somewhere in the middle of 1 and 2, namely 1.5. I would not try to guess the exact answer, but you certainly want to recognize the number. If you would get 3 there, you might to think you did something wrong, right? Because you know 16 cubed is going to be way bigger than 67. So 
So remember to keep in perspective what you're doing. Also, the 